Um, Nicholas DiOrio, fat and retarded, uh, tries to invite um, Sanchu Christian onto his uh, uh, Kim Source podcast called Local Live to be interviewed by Tommy C, one of the grossest, schlubbiest, fat retards on the internet. Um, to which uh, Keemstar follows up because he doesn't reply saying, Yo, Chris Chan, we have ske- you scheduled as our honorary guest on Local Live. Please DM me or Nicholas Doro so we can set this up for you. P.S. Sonichu is awesome. So without the consent of Chris, uh, Keemstar decides to just randomly decide that he's on the podcast and decides that he's just going to lie and say, Yeah, you're definitely showing up on this podcast that we've already put you in a spot for, retard. Come take the bait. And then Chris Chan replies saying, um, I will also state another fact or two. I am quite aware that the intentions of those on Kiwi are not great. Present individual I am talking to included in that. Regardless of what our near future collabs I go into, there is mockery from the minority, but I foreknow and anticipate with counter plans for such mockeries with my blessings that will prayfully will allow me to see the light, power, and good that will pull them away from their toxic and darkest sinning ways. Uh, this is the relevant part. With that stated, I am more than aware, as I have made clear, of the likely usage of I as leverage in the popularity of one's content and self, as well as any quote-unquote lolcal content. I am not a lolcal, and I feel concern and disappointment with those who see others in their respective drama and stressful situations as comical. I feel pity for the... They who do not have empathy upon the pains of others, including myself, as well as not being open for the present and future, better individuals, they are more than capable of being in light, power, good, and righteousness. I also feel pity in all those who are unable to feel and appreciate the deeper spiritual, soulful aspects of the authentic and mutual appreciation and compassion of others. Uh, So let me translate that for you. Um, Chris has told Keemstar that he is more popular than him and his appearance on his podcast uh, benefits Keemstar much more than it does him. He also says that naming his podcast the Lol Cow Podcast and expecting anybody to show up on such a fucking thing as as if it's not innately degrading to do so uh, is a joke and he will not be participating in that. And also he calls Keemstar a psychopath and tells him to fuck off, uh, which is pretty base if i'm going to be real i mean it was, i mean I, the name is bizarre to me <laughs> imagine if i tried to like it's just it's like starting a podcast called fat retard podcast and sending a message to nick diorio like hey here you know what, i'll do it live what's this fucking thing hold up nicholas diorio next.com here we go Hey, I'm starting a podcast called the Fat Retard Podcast, and I have you scheduled to show, be a guest on it this weekend. All right, let me know when you're available. Nicholas D. Oreo. All right, perfect. Uh, this is the uh, this is I mean this is basically the exact same fucking thing. All right, <laughs> there is there is no mechanical difference between. What they were offering Chris and what I have offered Nick to Oreo. So don't 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 even fucking try me. The name is terrible. Nobody wants to be on the Lolcal podcast. Um. Anyways, whatever. Try not to. I I don't want to talk about that too much because I'm gonna sound bitter if I if I talk about it too much. But that is. That's that's my honest opinion. The, the name doesn't make sense to call something. If you want to invite people into your podcast, you should have some some level of like credibility to what you're doing and not just like yeah we're obviously going to like ridicule you behind your back and make make light of your situation like that's what that name means sorry thank you for watching this clip this is the cac remember to like and subscribe